Let's go to the squad car, please. Okay, that one. Why? Why is it happening? I'm being arrested? Yes. yes. For what? I don't want him arrested. I just want him to leave us alone. I don't know, but he had a weapon on him and it was terrible. Threats. Brandishing is not a crime with a knife. Brandishing, brandishing is only a crime for a gun. That's no sorry. Because he said die to me and had his knife out? What, all that was done. The threats, everything. I they, thought you were going to arrest him. I wouldn't call. I just wanted to leave us alone. I understand, but we still have a job to do. Now he's going to say, he's going to think I'm doing this because I'm white and he's black. Man, or he's homeless and I'm not. I don't want but did that. He, but did he do what he did? Yeah, but I don't want him thinking I did it because he's in whatever situation he's in. I, I just want him to leave us alone. I doubt that. Wow. What a pathetic little soy boy that's endangering the lives of his family. Modern men, huh? Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. My name is Zukardowski here. We are change.org, and there's a lot of soy rage out there, especially today, as of course, I think it's fair to say that things are not all right, and there's a lot of rage dedicated in the wrong directions, as of course, there's a full-on disinformation campaign that has brainwashed a lot of people. We're going to be talking about that, the ESG scores, and of course, the story of the decade that many powerful people do not want you talking about. That story, its larger complexities, a report that just came out from the government, which even CNN is actually reporting on accurately, we're going to be talking about in this specific video. If you like the shirt that I'm wearing, you can get it on thebestpoliticalshirts.com. And the clip that we played in the beginning of this broadcast was originally shared by at GarbageHuman23. The multiple accounts that they now have, since of course facing a lot of censorship, but it looks like the original video was posted by Crime Cam Now. We're going to be doing our best to find their YouTube channel to link it down in the description below so you could check out more of their legal analysis of the soyfication of the modern man. And again, holy cow. Imagine going through an incident where your wife, where your children were threatened by a lunatic telling you that they're going to end their existence with a sharp metal object in this person's hands and you're, you're more worried about this person than you are your family. Absolutely pathetic, disgusting. That's the epitome of cowardness. And that's the type of society the modern establishment is, of course, shaping up. And one way they're doing it is, of course, through the social corporate credit score that is widely termed as the ESG, a term that its biggest promoters are even trying to stay away from as BlackRock's CEO just came out and said that he stopped using this word because, quote, it's been weaponized. Yeah, it's been weaponized against the majority of the American people who just want to live their lives and not be propagandized everywhere they go. But uh, of course, Larry Fink here means the other way, as of course, people are finally catching on and realizing what the ESG score is really about, and that is acquiescence and acceptance of essentially the new world order. Since, of course, it's also important to note here that it was Lady Rothschild, many powerful multinational corporations and the big banks coming together with the Pope that organized and orchestrated this larger push for this all the way back on in 2020, according to this Forbes article, probably a lot later than that officially. But Forbes reports it as 2020 as, of course, the revisioning of capitalism by the Rothschilds to make things more equitable, more green, more extremely profitable for the really big financial players in this world that essentially have composed a plan that is rotting out the wealth and prosperity of this country in exchange for soft communism. That's exactly how I would surmise the ESG social credit score system that, of course, punishes people for daring to question the current establishment talking points, whatever they may be, censor them, de-incentivize them, take away their funding, take away their money, a part of all larger plots and sinister motives that essentially leave not just a lot of people worse off and in many other instances leave people sterilized without the ability of being able to reproduce Ever. All of this as the propaganda works so well that in Texas, the local government there is being hacked and having a lot of their data released because, quote, they don't allow gender affirming care. Now, of course, I have a, a lot more to say about this that I will be saying specifically 
on LukeUnfiltered.com. Right after this video, we give you another video, another report, specifically dedicated towards giving you the best information so you make important decisions for yourself as an individual that, of course, will not be following the herd. We're also able to show you and talk about things that we're not able to talk about here on this particular platform. So if you want that report, plus a lot of other offers of value, sign up to LukeUnfiltered.com. And soon we are going to be announcing the winner of FloridaManTrip.com. As this week, the winner will be announced and I will personally reach out to them and they will be coming to Miami, Florida, getting a free hotel stay, free dinner, and a four-hour tactical self-defense training with myself and professionals in the field with a competition that's going to be extremely fun, extremely challenging, and absolutely will leave you with some extremely knowledgeable pieces of experience and information that will help you no matter what kind of situation and circumstance you find yourself in. The experience of a lifetime all available on the FloridaManTrip.com. If you're a member, you could enter this contest. We will be deciding a winner this week. And I'm super excited to, of course, participate in this one-on-one -on -one viewer experience that's uh, going to be a lot of fun. Again, that plus a new video ready for you right after this one, all on LukeUnfiltered.com. I will see you there right after this broadcast. Just click the link right here. Quick, easy, simple. It's down in the description below, and I will see you there right after this video. As, of course, we need to talk about the main story of today surrounding the story of the decade that extremely powerful people do not want us talking about. Again, we have been absolutely de-incentivized de by, by YouTube from even discussing this particular matter. They, they essentially have been telling us, you better stop talking about this, you better stop talking about this, and we refuse because this story actually matters. There's thousands of victims here. There's children that have some of the worst actions committed on them through your tax dollars. And this is why it's it's essentially so infuriating, but also at the same time, so important to talk about this very specific issue, since, of course, there hasn't been any justice by all the federal authorities here that have failed us every step of the way. Ever since the 90s, ever since the 90s, there was women, there was children coming to the FBI and the FBI decided to just look the other way and ignore them as they were asking and begging them to do something about this monster in our society. The corporate media promoted this guy. Independent media called him out and got censored and still continues to get censored for doing so. So this is why I will never stop talking about this issue because this is a key issue that a lot of people need to remember in the current context as today we had a new report released by the Justice Department that talked about all the incredible oopsies and mistakes and accidents that happened when it came to the demise of Mr. Epstein when he was in federal custody. As the AP wrote an article, misconduct by federal jail guards led to Mr. Epstein's end. And uh, I think it's fair to say that this is a whitewash and there's a bigger aspect of this story that, of course, we need to talk about in the larger context of it all. As, of course, the coincidence and coincidences and accidents and after accidents after accidents are, are just too many not to think that something absolutely sinister was happening here because how else couldn't have it happened? You can't just have everything failing all around you and then think it's, it's just a coincidence. It's not. As we're finding out today that nearly all surveillance cameras in this unit didn't work, didn't record. There was a guard that I was that was on duty for 24 hours. There was job performance and quote functional failures. Yeah, right. Multiple policy and procedure failures. Oh, yeah. Just another coincidence there. As the policies were ignored, there was extreme special treatment and even an incident where Mr. Epstein was somehow allowed to make an unrecorded, unmonitored phone call. Now, who did he call? What was the merits of that discussion? What was talked about here? Well, again, we don't know because there was some kind of mystery, magical phone call that I guess we will never learn about. We're also finding out that Mr. Epstein was given too many linens that other inmates uh, didn't have, and he was allowed to, quote, sleep on the floor. There were specific requests for Mr. Epstein to be housed with an appropriate cellmate, which never happened, as there was even reports of him trying to off himself days before the official alleged 
offing and even reports of him saying that people were trying to, of course, off him. Now, this is an extremely long report. I've, I've kind of skimmed through it with some of my team members. I still haven't seen all of it, but this is just ab absolutely r ridiculous. And it's important to note here that the federal agents that, of course, failed every step of the way magically here were just given a slap on the wrist and never even officially punished for falsifying reports, lying about what actually happened here while covering up and playing a major role in the demise of a man who had secrets on almost everyone in the top echelons of our society. Again, mistake after mistake cannot be just accepted here as, of course, there are just way too many mistakes. As, of course, it's fair to say that there is an absolute criminal cover-up by some of the most powerful people in the world here that even CNN decided to blast and call out with their article titled DOJ Issues Scattering Rebuke of Bureau of Prisons Detailing Multiple Failures that led to Mr. Epstein's demise. This, as it's important to note here, that longtime man of the intelligence agencies, Bill Barr, the attorney general at the time for the former president of the United States, Donald Trump, played a key integral role in all of this, as of course, it's also important to note here that it was Bill Barr's father that gave Mr. Epstein a start in a very prestigious school in New York City, as this was one out of many connections that, of course, this long-time intelligence man had to this entire case where even Time Magazine was saying that he should recuse himself in this investigation as he was investigating himself and a long-term associate that even Mr. Epstein bragged was, quote, really in charge here and not Donald Trump himself. Yes, Mr. Epstein, before his demise, specifically bragged that it was Bill Barr that was in charge of Washington, D.C., not Donald Trump. And now we're supposed to trust uh, this man, his, his findings under his watch with his connections to all of this from the very beginning of Mr. Epstein's start. And uh, yeah, sorry, I just, I just won't. That absolutely makes no sense to me. And the fact that no one has been held responsible here, the, the, the fact that every player here, or even the, the low level player, hasn't had any kind of responsibility, any kind of, of punishment surrounding this particular matter is absolutely a travesty of injustice that sadly thousands and thousands of children and now grown adults will never have in their lifetime. This is not the end of this story. This should be the start of this story. This report, by the way, in my opinion, is a part of the larger criminal cover-up that talks about excusing this all on coincidences and accidents. And I think it's fair to say that during this entire saga we just had way too many of them to believe them from now on as a lot of people are involved here not just bill barr but also jp morgan that was just fined four million dollars for deleting 47 million emails that were subpoenaed and probably related to this case as there's still a lot of very powerful individuals out there including people like bill gates prince andrew and uh, a lot of others that did a lot of really unspeakable things that it looks like they have completely gotten away with. And when it comes to this report, it's important to talk about it accurately as a cover up, as that's exactly what it is. And if you agree with that, share this video with your friends and family members. It is more imperative than ever. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. And that's why I love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on wearechange.org.